Or I can be a boyfriend. Okay. Hi, I'm Greg Solkin. I play Grant on the upcoming Netflix series called Pretty Smart. Um, I had to get massively in shape for the show, and so this place here has become my home, pretty much. Uh, and thankfully, I've had uh, the big man right here, Kev, be the best trainer ever, crack the whip, get me into shape, and uh, we're gonna walk you through some of the workouts that uh, Kev masterfully designed and crafted uh, to basically get me into shape. I think the plan for the show was that I never wanted to become like a bodybuilder type. I wanted to become lean, but also add muscle. And so we're gonna start with the warm up, and then we are going to get into some strength training and also some core exercises. Here we go. So basically, we are going to start with a warm up that is going to consist of a few exercises. We're gonna start on the treadmill, then we're gonna do some ropes, and then we're also gonna do some, uh, I'm gonna hop on the bike too. And the whole point is just to get the heart rate up, get the blood flowing, and uh, make sure I get in the cardio before the strength training starts. So that's the end of the warm up. Uh, I do that twice over, so go on the treadmill twice, ropes twice, bike twice. Now we're gonna get into the strength training. So now we're gonna do a crunch medicine ball pass. It's me on my back, put a medicine ball in between my feet, 12 reps. Thirteen, you know, just uh, one for good luck. Exactly. Okay, so this is the resistance broad jump. Uh, the benefit of this is mainly your explosiveness. Uh, aside from being an actor and aside from working on the show, I play soccer twice a week. I was never the tallest growing up, and so I always hated losing headers. And so uh, becoming more explosive allowed me to sort of have a bigger leap, win headers, win the game. So, uh, so yeah, this, uh, an exercise like this is, uh, is very, very good. So we're about to do a Swiss ball chest press. Like Greg mentioned, the Swiss ball is definitely gonna activate the core while also targeting the chest. Now we're about to do a lunge row. You know, you could just obviously do your basic row, but by adding a lunge in there, it increases your stability. Also again, engages the core. Okay, so this is the low fly. Uh, the benefit of this exercise is it attacks and isolates your upper chest, also your inner chest. Uh, when you do get to the top of the exercise, which is here, it's really important that you squeeze that chest, uh, really pinch that area. So nice, like slow, just slow and controlled is definitely a lot more important. And also don't forget to breathe. It's a lot easier when you're not doing something for men's health and there are cameras in front of you, but uh, it is important to, to breathe. <sighs> okay, so this exercise, we're going to superset the, uh, the curl into an Arnold press and then over to the tricep. Um, this, uh, the Arnold press is always a little bit important to me just because uh, Arnold's son, Patrick, is a very close friend of mine. And Arnold, of course, is, is a legend in the, in the fitness space. So, uh, Pat, this one's for you, mate. Do the bicep curl into the Arnold. Again, slow and controlled here is really important. So when you come down, come up slowly. This moment, point there is very important. Uh, it works the shoulders as well as the biceps. There we go. Now straight over to the triceps. So elbows tucked into your side, keep your chest up and uh, really try to focus on uh, your tricep and just really, 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 when you get to the bottom, just really burn that tricep. So we are doing the leg press. Again, slow and controlled movements, very important. You know, no one likes to have a big upper body and small legs. So I think it's important that at least you get one leg day in uh, every week, at least. For me, this is quite a sensitive workout just because last year, this time last year, I actually tore my meniscus. It's really important to have that inner conversation with yourself to, uh, to make sure that you're doing the exercises right, but you're also not pushing yourself so hard to where you're gonna injure yourself. So this workout is the ab tuck push up. Uh, put your feet on the ball, push up down, 
and then and then pull the uh, pull the ball in. Really good for your abs, also good for your upper body and just overall strength because you're making sure that you're keeping balance the whole time too. It's good for your chest, good for the abs, and good for the body. We're gonna go do some pull-ups. Uh, I actually have a pull-up bar at home. I feel like any chance I see a pull-up bar, I'm getting on it. I just think it's so good for you. Also, when you don't have time to go into the gym, uh, sometimes, you know, I'll be on set shooting and there's just sometimes just literally no time to go. Um, and so thankfully having a pull-up bar at my house um, is, is really helpful. So the last workout is modified mountain climbers. Uh, so first gonna get down, uh, usually do uh, three sets of about 15 reps. Um, however, so on this one, we're gonna go out wide first, which attacks a different part of the core. Then, and again, really important to drive through the hip on this one. Try to keep those hips from swaying side to side. Thank you very much, Men's Health. I'm Greg Solkin. Excited for you guys to check out my new show on Netflix. Pretty smart, thank you for being part of my workout. See you guys soon.